hi everyone in today's video i'll be showing you how we can use random colors for individual ribbons using ribbon ids and maybe you have been facing the similar issue while using location events or maybe anything just to do with the ribbons you can apply the same method for with variation also or moreover anything let me know after watching this video if you want any further explanations so i can do it that for you also this is the setup I meet. It's just a one parent emitter which particles are going up and I'm generating a location event and from that I'm generating ribbons based on particle IDs. So we need to turn this require persistent IDs and I'm just generating a ribbon. Mainly the issue I used to face was when applying a random color. Basically if I take color and if I do a random color, let's see, select linear color from array. And I give two colors. I've already made a search out of them. So you can see this is direct set, but uh, if I do it random, these are randomly distributed based not based on per ribbon basis but per particle basis so ribbons are made of the particles like you can see in the wireframe mode all these particles so the color is applying based on this particle id which we are receiving from the ribbon the best thing i found for the ribbons is by default the randomness mode is set to simulation default we can set it to deterministic and then the random seed is by default zero so you always get the random seed as the same thing we can fix the random seed and so it always have the same color no matter what and if i make it one let's say like oh, maybe random number see you can see the different color but now i want this random seed based on the ribbon ids not the particle ids but the ribbon ids we can actually get the ribbon ids by telling it to get return particle id attributes and currently it's using particle unique id but we can send it to acquire tag and currently this shows an error but because we are using particle ids but we are not generating any persistent ids here if you turn this on it does it by default which is okay so we need ribbon IDs here. So currently if you go here and search for, let's say ribbon, you don't get anything. So we go to user parameter, not user parameter. We go to parameters and we can search it here, ribbon ID and just apply it here. And it gives you the result you want. and the random seed need to be fixed if you don't do it then it just does it for the particle so we need to fix the random seed yeah second thing i don't know why this doesn't show here while doing it it shows we can change it to ribbon id but yeah it doesn't show here so we have to get it from user parameter but yeah if you drop the color here in the event handler you and if i set it back to particles id and search for ribbon id you will get it here so maybe it is generating the ribbon ids here that i don't know so yeah we can check it or else you can just put it up here also both works the same way similarly you can do it for the size variation width variation and any random things you want if we don't want to use this and we know we are not using a parameter what we can still do is we can give random color here so if i do random range and random so currently it's black and white i can just change the color to this and in the receive location event, I can turn it to uh, apply. 
and it will apply the properties it both works the same way but the only main issue is if you have a parent emitter which you are going to use a mesh or anything else currently these are particles i can turn it off also but yeah if you are using that then you can't use random colors for those probably so you need to set it here so yeah both ways work fine